Due south, pilot. You're going to shoot a mountain. They hunt you to the ends of the earth. You tell him the snowballs are frozen. Ha <laughs> ha. He says, I'll take a dog sled. Dog sled? This guy is living in the century. I heard he's going to over the pass. Don't be ridiculous. Nobody makes it over the pass. Fraser went over the pass. You've got to be kidding. It's 50 below out there. A froze coming in from my car. Guy so reliable. Who? Who do you go after anyway? You wouldn't believe it. Who? Something? Got to tell the chief? That's the sergeant's job. Then tell the sergeant. Then, when I lift this, it'll jam your hand down here fast. Ready? And sergeant, yeah. It's the last time you fished over the limit. And you feel it next to go there and get him now in the middle of one of the worst storms I had this year. Yes, sir, Fraser. You just tracked the man 300 kilometers because he caught too many fish. You see the limit by quite a little bit, sir. How much could have run fish, ran fish over the limit that would justify you recklessly endanger life? A rotation of this police force. Four and a half tons, sir. Old fish, yes, sir. He dominated dim- dim- the rivers, scooping the salmon off surface with a back hole. Oh. So he destroyed the plastic explosives, the nic- nicotine, fragmentary mines, and then I donated the three and a half truckloads of fish to a local village. I tried to help her tell you, call you with his thanks as soon as the local phone been restored. So there's a terrible odour on the phone for you. And this, and then this just, just came in over the wire. It's her father. Time was he could look out the window and see nothing but geese. Thousands of them. If they were down there, beavers used to cover it like a bunch of hairy little ants. Government planned to put them all out of business. Yeah, everything's changing. You don't know what the hell he was doing there. Ten below zero, middle of nowhere. He's a, he's a, he's a lobbot. Closed his last case over a week ago. He be, so he'd been catching up with his, on paperwork. But you know, you know your dad. He refreezes his rump off of the, off the hugger desk. 30 odd, 30 odd six standard hunting of um, ammo. It's the first week of the season. So he made every damn idiot was to kill something. Near as we can tell, he must have caught a stray bullet. No such way to die. Son, every officer in his post spent the last three days carrying that gold looch. It was evidence, if there was evidence found play, we found it. When was the last time you talked to him? Christmas. But I guess the more you know someone, the less you, you need to be said. That's my, that is, this is my, me, mine. You want meat, Mountie? Go to the supermarket. You killed him? Nope. Seen any hunters come through here? Yep. You killed him? Nah. Him? Nah. Then who? Nobody. He just drank too much. Betty, honey. You want milk? Guy brought home a gallon yesterday. Yeah, look in the fridge. I, should, I should, never should have bought the damn thing. Now, it's drink the milk, drink, bring butter. I'm up at 10,000 feet. And she wants me to stop at 7-Eleven. Oh, a week ago, you said. You would have been a party six. It brought some nuns up at retreat. Does that, does that help? Not unless you're carrying firearms. Are you sure you, that you, they were Americans, huh? They're all wearing new boots. They're driving a Jeep Wangle. And they carry these guns. Big guns, Americans. It is. Now, here you go. There you go. A bunch of dentists from Chicago came up. We again killed the limit and went home early. Do you have a pressure list? Yeah, I need it back. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Are you listening to me, honey? Yeah, okay. Oh, foot powder. I need some foot powder. Foot powder, yeah. Ped it, was it? You think you can tell me what killed it? Toss it in the freezer. It'll be in, it'll be, it'll be in a few days. 22 years ago, came to the North West Territories for, as a corporal. Even then, named Bob Fraser was spoken with awe among the ranks of new recruits. He said he could track a ghost across icy ice, and a young officer would have to move fast and drive hard to catch his shadow. 
Many have followed the spirit and traditions, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. A few embodied it. The name is the name is Sergeant Robert Fraser. Will always be among them. To your father, he may not give the angel may not give the angels a moment's peace. Your dad and sent spent too many nights in places like this. What did you what did you say? I gave you them your your list of names. You sh- I signed an officer. Check them out. Respect, sir. The Chicago PD is not going to make this a high priority case. No, thank you. Don't fall too far from the rift through tree. Huh? Understand there's an opening in Chicago consulate. Consulate. You're gonna. You won't gonna. Are you go, you're gonna want to go charging across the border. Free screen spots from at random. Ben, man up to man. It really was a murder. I'd like to find whoever did it and show him a view from the end of a rope. But I can't do that, and neither can you. There are a hundred hunters out there in the woods that day. Most of them were God knows where. You found six. You all they all checked out they all checked out. Let them do their job. I realize they could, wouldn't be allowed to work the case. So but I do the same city. I just I can just at least check their progress. Tell me, Constable, how many years have you been in the force now? Thirteen. And what was the biggest city you ever worked in? Moose Jaw, yeah. And you, tra- and you were transferred out for, for after five weeks because you couldn't adapt to not such an urban lifestyle. You are like your father. Out there in no man's land, there's no better cop in the world. The Chicago are eating live within minutes. Sorry, I understand. You also understand that nothing is going to stop me from finding my father's killer and bringing him to justice. Give him the transfer. Oh, come on, Charlie. You think they're going to let him go, do, let him get, do anything? He, he has no jurisdiction. So go with PD, PD. You treat this like any other request. The way they're going to catch this guy is if he picked up a broken tire light. And that was that spontaneous confession. This was Bob Fraser. Give him the transfer. Help feed the hungry. Food for the hungry. What is, what is it? Pennsylvanium. Now he's still hungry. When you finish, uh, drink water. It's burns in your mouth. So why don't you operate on your little girl unless they pay them in advance? Hey man, without seeing the cash, they won't give you an aspirin. You promise to pay it and me back in the week. As God is my witness. Well, they're afraid. All I can give you is a hundred. You're going to give a perfect stranger a hundred dollars? You're kidding, son. Never kid about the child's life. Oh, you take it, you take it, madam. Hi, ho. Please. It's they no good enough. Council Fraser, Royal Canadian Man Police. No kidding. You got a dog? He's been quarantined. Shame. You like pigeons? I don't like. I don't know much experience of them. So, do you want to move it again? Sharp deets. I'm not. You know, they're, they're, they're dirty. Just I'm starting to question their loyalty. Looking for an officer signed this case number. Oh yeah, you're gonna like this fellow. Drop your stuff over there in a the, the group. Through these doors down the hall. Third holding cell on the right. And then you can't miss him. You look f- for. You look for Ami Arani. Could you read that? Does that label not say Amani? Of course, it's an original word to choice. A friend of mine just sort of found a truckload sitting side of the road. Isn't that kind of strange place to do a business? Hey, at least in here. You know you're dealing with, right? Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Amani. Come on, you mean me, guard ain't guard. Okay, who let the Mountie into the holding cell? I'm sorry. I believe there is an unfortunate confusion of an unfamiliar idiotic trade name. What's well, a confusion it was, was down here, you don't burst into some guy where they're about to take down the biggest operator in the garment district for buying certain merchandise. So you were attempting to sell him track of illegally obtained men's clothing, that's right. Isn't that an entrapment? Will you, what do you want from me? I told you you were in charge of this case. Oh yes, the dead bounty thing. Look, I could have guessed. Couldn't have guessed. Look, I'll get your list of names in my basket here. When I get the chance, I'm going to go to the computer, pick up the phone, and phone call you with information. You can get back. Go go get back to your pride scalp scalp 
points. Now, is there anything else? Yes, the dead mountain was my father. Oh, and I would appreciate if you would check their names while there's still a chance of catching the man who killed him. And oh, by the way, he's not in the government business. What? Your man's cell. He's a hole in his shoe. Not familiar with the city, but I assure you that a man, boy, a big government got burger. But I wouldn't be caught dead with a hole in his shoe. So, like, he's pretending to be someone he's not. You want me to be deputy vice-chancellor officer? I said, ah, oh, I'm not, in my understanding, oh, well, you had a position, sir, no, you're acting deputy liaison officer, on probation, no, I read about your reports, nobody's questioning your own ability as a police officer, but this is a uh, big city USA, a consulate office in an entirely different kettle of fish, 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 ah, uh, do you know, even know what we do here, as chief liaison officer, I work closely with the local police and various arms of justice, justice, criminal justice systems and intelligent community on matters of mutual interest. Basically, yes. How the FBI and CIA types are very quickly who they cozy up to. You've got to earn their respect. You've got to gain their trust. And sometime show them they're nobody, they're, they're your nobody that dog. That dog, sir? These Americans, these Americans, Fraser, they, if they think you can walk over them, they will. It's a delicate balance. You've got to just be as shrewd and cunning and ruthless as they are. And then being Canadians, being Canadians, we m- m- have to be polite. Polite, sir, that's the one thing you hear Americans say about Canadians over and over again. They're such nice, polite pe- people. So we use it against them. Not exactly clear is it how to do that, sir. Well, they didn't underestimate us. I suppose, probably the number of people underestimate you, Freezer. I don't think so, sir. How many times have I been at some diplomatic crypto party and people start to say something and stop realising I have been hearing distance and they say, oh, it's just a Canadian. It always works. I never quite. never quit. Lo- they never quite loses its steam. Oh, so it's a big job. A lot of big, big, lot of ground to cover. Do you think you're up to it? I'll do my best, sir. Uh, um, as are my duties? I'll uh, l- 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 give you a full briefing. Yeah, and give you a brief briefing. She'll take care of all that uh, stuff. Have you met Commissioner Brighton, Constable Brighton? My right arm. She's the best assistant a man could have. Yes, sir. You give them, you will give them, huh, Fraser? Fraser, you have full briefing on all you know. That says, sir. Uh, and just take the, uh, can you, oh, well, just have, have lunch, because this is your officer, he's very nice. This is uh, your desk, this is the phone, this is your road decks, this is your tape, your tape dispenser, this is a stapler, thank you. Oh, there's more. This is your pencil sharpener, this is appointment calendar. It's a com- combination pencil cut. There are your pencils. And this is your planet plant. You know, I can do this. Are you sure you don't want to help with a computer? Don't want to? Well, then I'll be at my desk. Well, I appreciate that. I I want to apologise. I was uncalled for. Well, I was a little curious. You see, this is supposed to be my job. I'm putting for you behind that desk. And then I'm getting... And out there, getting coffee, running errands, organizing every minute detail of his life. I pay my dues. I'm a cop, Fraser. Picking up my cleaning, cleaning. Doesn't that come naturally? Well, I didn't. And then the job opens up. I'm finally going to go to some out and think. Do something other than show my legs. And then it's well, we're sorry, we don't think you're quite ready for the job. We need someone with, with kayaking experience. Don't recall that. You didn't say that, Fraser. I didn't have to. They hired you, didn't they? Can I be frank? I'm nothing against you, personally. I'm sure you're a very nice person. You're very good at wrestling. Fur, bear, bear, bearing animals. I can do everything in my... power to have you fired. Because this is my job. Just... I just don't mean... I don't mean to sound like a bitch. Oh, no. No, not at all. Not really like this. No, I can't see that. Perhaps you can tell me I'm a bit unclear as why your, your job, what your job entails. 
Well, the one good thing about the menial job of mine, I hold the duty roaster, which means that your job is pretty much whatever I tell you it is. Where am I to start? Come on, boys. Excuse me. Hey, what's what's up? It's you. I didn't recognize you standing there like that. Okay, I acted like a jerk. Didn't realize it was your father. I should have checked into it earlier. I'm sorry. Anyway, you're right about the, the go, Goma and Cell. Now I'm digging around and I'll find out this guy. Eternally, affairs trying to nail my butt for legal entrapment. Can you believe that? This guy is going to trap me into trapping him. Cops. Uh, in that case, I figured I owed you one. Uh, here it is, thanks. Come on, I'm apologizing here. What else do you want for me? You're kidding, right? This is your job? This is your real job? Do you believe it? It's it's his job. They actually pay people to do this in Canada. Sorry? Anyway, I checked this that list of your names for you. It came up something. It might be something we could sh- should talk. You're putting, you're putting me on, right? Okay, you just let me know. When you get off, I'll come back. You got a break coming up as, as, uh, soon or something? I'm talking to courts here. Oh, so I called the American Dental Association. So you everyone on your list comes up as members. Only one, only one of them is Dr. Lawrence Melody, Melody in current with his duties, Jews. So I called the last man number they have on the guy, and the nurse says he didn't come to the phone seeing he's been dead. Twelve years. It makes me curious. Only makes me anxious. Uh, it only takes me an extra second to cur- be, cur- be curious. Arthur, you, madam. Oh, Arthur, you, sir. Are you going to get um, get on or what? My bet is there isn't a lot of high speed chases in Canada. Ah, oh, I'm actually never met one him. He called and said he heard about your annual hunting trip. He asked if he could come along. Harry Penrose, Peter Trotidis. He actually comes with, with about this year. We had an accident. So let me take uh, take a look here. Ah, oh, here he, there he is. Ah, uh-huh. yeah, Larry Melody. He won in the corner. I believe that's the one I got, got for him. Yep, for some reason, he's never around when you're taking pictures. Not much a hunter. He didn't. No, he didn't shoot a thing. I came home with that big fella right there. Yeah. So how did you know him? I don't, don't. I never seen. I never said I did. Just had this feeling I've seen him before. Did you recognise his face? Not so much his face, but as his nose. His nose, yeah. I like it. I have this ability. Every nose is different, distinctive. No two persons exactly the same nose. I just have this thing where I can never forget a nose. Call it a gift. You know how to type a thousand words a minute. Hey, June 26. I'm walking a bit of beat. I don't, I'm going to call for a domestic violence case. Very, very messy. A guy has his wife's arm in the car door. He's slamming it and slamming it. When I see the girl lying a photo, a flash at the guy's nose. That's the puppy. Frankie Drake. What do you think? Exactly the same nose. What did I tell you? Now I stick at my hand high because homicide I'm trying to nail him for a metal mob here. He's a hide killer. Well, I don't think he hunts for relaxation, Fraser. Now if somebody wanted to mark your dad out of the way for an, an afternoon deport and professional. You have any idea why? No. Do you have an idea address? Yeah. But it's not worth the cab fare to check. He's been long gone by now. Would you have would you have an idea? One lead, okay. I'm gonna phone you up one lead and that's it. Because I don't have time to make a career of this good place. I gave my name in some Yukon Gazette. I'm gonna go big kiss my career. You understand? I understand. Good. Now mush yeah or whatever you can say. Where where are we going? There's a place I know with a lot of headweights hanging out. The kind of people who can reach out and touch somebody like Frank. Now I've been, now I've been working it for months. You know, hanging it out, fitting it. I think I'm complete. No, they think I'm complete scum. Down here, your reputation is everything. Where the hell did I leave my car? Two degrees south. 
Right out. And what's his first name anyway? I mean, I can't keep him calling you Fra- Fraser Brenton. What? What's your first name, Brenton? Do you hear me? Do you have your first name? Can you, can you make a stop on this on the way? Sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's, he's, he's on me. Def, Defenbaker. He's on me. He's getting intimate with me. Do you see him? I'm sorry. He's getting intimate with me. He usually is much better behaved. He's just decided him to get out of quarantine cage. You won't tell him to get off me. Different beaker. Oh, yeah. He's well trained. Well, he, he, he's actually... He's just deaf. Deaf? He's facing the wrong way. So, he, so just tell him yourself. I'm not a good... Real good with dogs. Actually, he's more of a wolf. Wolf? Just try to now say it. Get off, sorry me, sorry. There's a deaf wolf in my back seat, yes. Two years ago, he jumped off an ice floe in the Princess Rupert sound and pulled me out. As he drums burst from the cold. Really? I didn't know a wolf saved lives. Well, he didn't. doesn't always. I mean, he saved you if he sees you. Oh, great. Now you won't find... Now you won't find this on most of your choice maps. You can't go walking around here by yourself. Will you trust me on this, will you? That's a joint. Just tell him to stay here, not to eat anything from emblem on it. All right, stay here. He read his lips. I've never been sure. I oh, so he soft talk good evening. Check it out. Excuse me. My friend here tells me he is in a very good neighborhood. So I wonder if you mind watching the car for us. Absolutely, thank you. Just asked him to watch the car. I think they were already watching it. Whoa, 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 Red. We can't just go marching in there. I really see with these people. They think I'm one of them. Do you understand? Oh, do you want me to blend into the crowd? Ah, you have a hat line embedded in your forehead. Well, perhaps if we identify ourselves and question them directly, they'll cooperate. And what would it make them do that? A basic respect for the law. I think we're going to... I think we're going to do this my way. Now, why don't you just stand here and pretend that you're a fire hydrant or something? And if you get into trouble, I'll do a moose, I'll do a moose call. Did I tell you what? You to stay in the car? Let's go, let's go. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? Well, you're still single? That's a bitch, huh? Listen, do me a favour. I'm looking for a friend of mine. In the wrong neighbourhood, we you, so... You got no friends here? Oh, come on, Chuck. I'm not going to look no, nothing but friends. Everybody likes me. I do business for everybody. Ah, I'd like you to do a little business with Frank, drink, drink, drink. You see me around, you know, Frank Greg go. So you think, every time I introduce you to someone, cops appear. You've got some reliable people working for me, Chuck. It means, well, what can I say? I don't know. You just imagine, hey... What the hell's going on? You you may you may be me, man. Oh come on. Just because I carry a gun doesn't make me a cop okay, okay. Just well maybe I offend some of you, offended some of your guys. Now I know, I know. Let me make it up to you. I've got five hundred dollars for anyone who knows what a moose sounds like. Excuse me? May I have your attention, please? Thank you. Anyone carrying legal weapons, if you want to place them on the bar you are under arrest. You realise I'm going to have to confiscate that. Hey, Dudley do right. You've got no disturbation dis, here. Now that is true, son. However this gentleman does. Ray, would you be good enough to show them your ID? And now if you do all just step back, detective will come, and I will collect your weapons. Would it be asking too much to show you us your gun? None at all. I carry a standard. For the incalibre. Sir so, so Smith and Weston, no service for ever over. But that's a local license. I'm not permitted to use it. That's why it's empty. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good citizen. Okay, weapons on the bar. You heard a man? You do on the bar. Don't think about it, Scarface. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Batman. Who came? Who carries an unloaded gun? Would I carry an unloaded, would I carry an unloaded gun? Was anyone I knew no carry an unloaded gun? Would you, why do they, what do they shoot people in Canada with? Soviets? Does the word button bullets mean anything to you? 
I think we're on the right track. Francis Drake. Yeah, like the explorer. I never heard that one before. Guess who? Well, I thought you said you weren't going to be any complications. Yeah, yeah, big one. It's wearing a hat. No, no, no. It take care of him. I take of him care of himself, but afraid he's an additional charge. Oh yes, please, sir. My pleasure. One sudden bar, sixteen tablets, twelve chairs, one inch mirror, six by six, one antique pool table, two doors, three two bottles of liqueur and a pasty pastel blue ribbon. They are like the clock. Does that seem like a fairly accurate list of damages to take Virgo? I don't believe the pool table was on the neat antique, sir. Oh well, we never know. Well, it will be, will we? Because that's all left. Because all that left is felt. I sought refuge behind the item in question when the subject pointed a shotgun in my direction. Very repeatedly, sir. Subject, Larry got around to that because I got to hate to think responsible for all this damage. For a very good reason. You say you identified him by his nose? Yes, sir. Can, can, didn't say something, didn't, you didn't say something about his nose. Could you hear me fire repeatedly and he's to the bar? No, sir. You just felt you, that his nose was so offensive. You said you pursued and arrested him. Captain, the suspect is known felon. You see, I had this hunch. You had this hunch? Ha <laughs> hunch. And you covered your hunch, your positive identification of his nose. And this was the basis of your investigation. Investigation that resulted in injury, seven people, three with gunshot wounds, two broken limbs, one of his with a concussion, and one of to have been bit by a wolf. The wolf was just getting, trying to help, sir. They usually are. If I could say something, sir. Well, of course you can, young man. I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure how man he fits into this case. But I like, I keep, I like to keep an open mind. Is that my urging that Detective Velcro went to the bar? So it wasn't just a hunch about a nose. You were there with the urging of a Mountie? Detective, how many are you open on some case that are on your desk? Right now, 41. And how about you, Constable Fraser? How many open unsolved cases are you working on right now? One, sir. One? There's an, an, an intrigue as I'm only by this case. Let me suggest you go back to your desk. You pick up well, any one of these open files, you want files. Put your nose into it. You keep it there until you have F, 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 affinity. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so I'll write up my report. I'm sure you see this. It was all my response. I'm sure you see this. My responsibility. Yeah, thanks. Need his number for Dr. Somebody? He called. He, so he says, may, may I call his office? It's Council Fraser. Oh, yeah. Just about to put this thing in the mail for you. Did, did you help us to see the colour boom? You dropped off. It drowned. I'm sorry? Drowned. Lungs were full of water. Does that do anything for you? I drank too much. Yeah, it's another way of looking at it. I mail you a little port. Thank you. How much do I owe you? Explanation. Hundred yards where my father died. I found a carcass. A dozen, several dozen caribou. Colonel always says they drowned. I thought they were such great swimmers. They didn't have to be. They drowned, they drowned on dry land. It's for the self, it's for the call. I appreciate you putting yourself out for me. Taxi, you know, we've been heard about your father down here. You know, we've been heard about your father down here. He's quite the man. Yes, he's a great man. Walk her to the door. This is a Canadian. This is she. 10th of January, 1959. I tracked McClay up the McCool Holt Pass. I found him in the top half a mile from the border. His ankle was broken, his ammunition spent. He just sat staring at the horizon. I took his wife away out of struggle. All he, all he said was, Don't let tell my son. And he jumped. A man was falling to his death. And all he cared about was how his son would remember him. I buried him there this morning. I told Gerald he got away from me. Last time I saw Ben, he barely tall enough to reach my belt. When I 
said goodbye. He shook my hand, never tear or complaint. Seven years old, he's already a stronger man than I'll ever be. Someday I'll tell him. You know, I started thinking, when he left, you sold all 41 cases, yeah. Well, I got restless, made a few calls, the truth. I checked every stitch I ever knew. Stitch I ever knew. No one's talking, no one knows, Drake. No one wants to know me. Me. What's this? This is my father's journal. I was just reading. Looking for something you would miss? Yeah. Nine six nine. We're going back back a ways. You'll find anything? I don't know. Look, I know how you must feel. I mean, if, if if it was my old man, well, if it was my old man, I'd be the last person he wants to be on the case. You pretty much thought I screwed up everything I'd ever touched. You know, I've been Ted for five years now. I still feel like I'm trying to prove myself to him. If I want you to be a cop. I don't know. All these years I can't remember him even asking me anything to do anything for him. If I ever wants you to what did you call I don't know. All these years I can't remember him ever asking me to do do anything for him. Not one thing is the one time he ever needed my help. You got any other family? No. Well I'm gonna show you why you're a lucky man. Come on, Marie. You're not getting an annulment. Ma, how can you say that? The man is an animal. You're among friends. Use your fingers. Ma, he's a beast. A man who buys a wife. A leather print of coat. He's no beast. Is there any mercy present? Five years we've been together. All we come up with a used house coat. It was not used. The guy just happened to sell laundry out of the back, out of the truck. Make any sense of that, dead kaboo, kaboo? Oh no, Francesca. You stay out of this. Ma, thank you. It's always like this. It's okay. They only take the ones they love. Don't you call me Ma. Oh, Ma. Get your own plate to her. And you eat it all. She's still my mother-in-law. I call her what I like. All right. Stop the arguing. I've not, I've not got the plate to her. No, Ma. Don't touch the plate to her. To get, he can get his own. He's my husband. I'll get... I'll tell him not to get the plate to her. Maybe he should told him not to get the platra. Oh, perhaps I can get the platra. Can you bring the pan, please? He's very nice, so polite. Canadian, ma. Oh, I thought he was very sick or something. So he's married? What, Ray? Platra. Oh, sort of like a yellow protogreen, right? At least my husband never yelled at the dinner table. Maybe because he wasn't around long enough to have a full meal. Broke his arm, he did. I found a platra. We've got to go. I'll get my hat. Who broke whose arm, Drake? He broke his wife's arm. Oh, well, of course he did. He's a man, isn't he? All men are evil because you can't you can't keep one. Now we find the ex-wife, we find Drake. This woman, you, you love to see him behind bars. Thanks for your din- dinner, ma'am. Oh, the yet a thing. Just wrap it up. Tonight is very nice, but nice to meet you. And maybe next time you can bring your girlfriend. I'm afraid I don't have... Oh, really? Raimondo? Mrs. Margrethe? Looks dark. Driver's license says she lives here. Now watch what you what you say to her. Don't want to spook her. Take your leave from me. You're going to have to play these people. What are you doing? Put that down. You don't know what they've been, that's been. Oh, it's disgusting. Put that down. Don't do that. God, that's disgusting. I'm sorry. Can't take you anywhere, Miss Drake. Please. May we come in? Thank you. Do you know what I want? My, my kid is just sleeping. We're looking for your, your husband, Miss Drake. We have all your divorce. He doesn't live in here. No, nice. Now to get out of the house. Do you know where he is? Yeah, he's a strange... No, yeah, we changed up at us. Don't see him. I don't speak to him. Now get out of my house. Come on. You don't want us talking you in. Wrapping up the kids. Now he's seeing his father. Get out. Get out of my house. It's sorry to disturb you. We're not, we won't keep you any longer. Let's go. What, right? Great. You know, maybe we shouldn't have had tea and a Chesterfield instead. I'm oh, sorry, madam. Oh, it's Miss Drake. When well, no, your husband was here in the afternoon, soft noon. Do you threaten? I didn't see him, okay? He can protect you. He's in Chinatown. You don't, you don't, don't think you can get, just, you don't think you can just arrest him. You'll kill, you'll kill the son of a bitch. Okay, okay, 
It was mud, right? You knew it came off his shoe because it was, you sniffed it. You smelled, smelled like mud. I mean, what else does mud smell like? Perhaps that was on the floor, in the bar. Wood? No, no, beer. Maybe the pe- peanut shells. You, when you've test- tasted such a, by the way, can't believe you didn't put that in your mouth. Taste that salt from the peanut shells. You knew that you'd be re- been here right, wrong. I guessed. I had a hunch. No, 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 no. You don't have hunches. I have hunches. I had one of your hunches, I Ray. Feel good. What was with that mud? You put mud in your mouth. Ray, she's looking out the window. See, we made her believe that I found something. You made her believe that you were muddy to? Can't believe I'm sitting in the same car with you. Where is this at the rest? Why? What are you going to do? Tell him you surrender? Are you going to eat something off the car? It's way convincing. Now put you, I'll put you and your mum to bed. Huh? One, two, seven hundred, frankly. One officer on the scene. Tell him not to shoot. The guy in the hat. Back up's on the way. So where are you from? It's a good time to be discussing this. Come on, we're two friends out for a walk. Where are you from? Well, I grew up from my grandparents in Uruk. Really? It's downtown Uruk. On the on more outskirts, more the, on the outskirts. Then, when I was eight, we moved to Uruk, and then to Uruk-a. Ah, let me guess. The grandparents were the most nomadic Galicia farmers, librarians. Do we have a right, do we have a right practically? He's a man who doesn't know how to spend his money. You know what worry, Fraser? I think this was a big mistake. Yeah. I screwed up. Don't worry. Don't, yeah. Ben, you're supposed to work for the police. You, you no right to be in my apartment working this case. You have to come back with me. There'll be a fitness bald, bald hearing. I, I did what I could. I know. I'll get in the car. What's that, different Baker? Oh, I'll get him. F- I'll get him through quarantine. Have him back up north before you are. Oh, thank you. You know what? Just think about. First time I met your father, we was standing out for inspection. Had one boot on. So he looks down at his feet and says, "You okay? Come on, come on, move. I'm making a sit his race. Take over. I got him. No, I got him. He reached for his knife. There's no knife. I met a man killed my your killed your father." He's reaching for his knife. He's very sorry, R-C-M-D-B. He used to be the feeding ground for thousands of caribou. They lived off the land, and so did we. Until the water came, they said it would, wouldn't change anything. But, but now some lights have ever run backwards. Land becomes an ocean, and the caribou die. In the morning, the ocean is down the one. All back here, neat and tidy. Why didn't you have told someone? I told your father. Did he do anything? Neither were you. He knew they were doing what they were doing at the whole dam. Most people surrounding you did. But they earned their livings of it. People want job, homes, jobs. You know how much money this dam brought into this community? How many people would be hurt if they shut it down? Progress has its price. Was it, what was yours? They paid you to keep quiet about it. You've got to turn you in. That's what I'm going to do. I wasn't the only one they paid. Gave his whole life to people up here. All he ended up was for that shack of his. He wanted to buy a little piece of land up there somewhere. You blame him? Can you see your dad stuck in some government? Time at home, not really lately. It wasn't easy to convince him to make take the money. He finally did. This is just a piece of paper. Don't start off as about such a big thing. He built the damn thing wrong. He couldn't hold that much water. So they twist the valve here, press a button there, you let out a little. And it turned out to be more than a little. And they had to keep doing it. I think when I saw what they were doing, he saw what they were doing to the land. He couldn't live with it. He wanted out. They wanted to do they wanted me to to do it. But I couldn't. I made a call. He was your friend, you son of a bitch, he was, yes he was. Your father was a great man, had a lot better man than me. Now he's only got one thing left. His reputation. Rest me, you take away the only thing you live for. It's your call. Check the bank. It's all there, I'm sorry. Enormous prosperity. Which phase one? 
your current operation was brought to this region would be more than doubled up by phase two. Facility which will not only born the economy, the entire community, and which will be completed, provide vital hydroelectric power for the people and the industries, most eastern seaboard. Ladies and gentlemen, great pride of give you phase two. Well, you couldn't cause any trouble. You didn't cause any trouble good. Because I hate to see the perfectly good career go to waste. Yours or mine. It's time you do it right. You ever think about getting a phone? Because you're using quite a lot, a bit in the States now. Maybe you've seen the commercials for Ray. Go ahead and shoot. I'll go, it'll be a hell of a lot easier than getting out of this snowsuit. You're supposed to be out of the hospital. Figured, who did it? I'm lying there. I kept like I think keep going over and over it in my head. If Drake didn't have a phone in his apartment, how did he do business? So I checked out the paper in the bar he busted out. One call to one call to Canada number in, in, in this area code. You know who he called? Gerald, exactly. He knew? Yes. You couldn't have called and told me this I worry. Drop me a postcode say, Hey, I saw the case. My mistake. Don't bother calling out of your best bed, flashing up, fishing up the armpit of the road of frozen north. I figured out who did it. Can I help you to get get out of that? Just point me to that, John. Well, we got some fishing rods, a rifle, last used by Chuck Connors, a bag of rice. So you plan? We wait for them to come. Uh, yeah, then we rest them. You see, there's such a simple plan, American mine. Or do I intend to sound it? So let me run it back to you. We ain't here, Gerald and God knows who else. Comes and someone then, when? Times when? We're not sure. And then we don't at least suspect it. They shoot us dead and we automatic weapons. They put, I, I left out, yes. I need Gerald alive to testify so we can't kill him. Oh, I don't think we're in any danger doing that. When I graduated from the academy, my father gave me one piece of advice. He said, always no. He said, never. Well, actually, he gave me a two piece of advice. For the other one, the important one is, never give, never chase a man off over a cliff. It's supposed to mean something Canadian, isn't it? If you're going to take on a man, you know, you better know more than he does. Our strength is, I know this area better than anyone. Their weakness is they think they have an advantage. Let me see that bag, being American. I also know where my strength lies. As in being heavy armed as possible at all times. It's all completely legal, I swear to you. Time to feed the troops. Let's go. Don't have the time to argue. Okay, girls. Beverly, what are you doing? Oh, come on, Grenada. You okay? You're here. They're here. Yeah, they're not. This way. We're, going, we're taking a stand with dogs. Go, go. Mush, 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 mush. Hurry, right, guys. Mush. Ha, ha. What is ha? Left ha. Use that, how? Hang on, hang on, look. When we get past the bend, jump off like hell. You follow me, yeah, because I'm dead from falling off the sled. You get this guy off my tail. I can take the other one, all right. Oh, jeez, you've got to have some more. Cool. Oh, yeah, obviously your father never gave you a piece of advice. It's over, Gerald. You don't, you can't cover this one up. You shot me, and you shoot me, and they'll hunt you to the end of the earth. Sorry, thought he was Caliban. So many hunting accidents around here. Hold, hold on, Beth and Meeker. Okay. We've got, we've got you, it'll get you fixed up. Open your eyes, look at me when you're talking to you. When I'm talking to you. I said, hold on. You know, listen. Help me put him under that sled. No, we'll come back for him later. Oh, guys, okay, guys. No, we just took out seven guys. One more, and you call it for American citizenship. Stunning setback for defence, Gerald. Plead guilty today, read a testify against his co-defendant. Now, while attempting to distance yourself, yourself in the murder trial, the new government is quick to deny you with help. Everyone doing it, it's East Power but power Plants. Maintaining the 10,000 gun drowned drowned forest as a result of series of fake natural occurrences. Phase 2, the project scheduled to begin construction this year. A flood in wilderness. The area of the size of Canada, Germany. Sherry Penny, New Channel 6 News. You make a lot of friends today. There's no rac- 
record that your father make any withdrawals. None of the deposits are made in person. People believe what they want to believe. I know what I do. I appreciate that, sir. I talked to the super at your last job. He's just a treasurer and you further north. Well, that would put me in Russia, sir. Seems like the only people they, they, they do want you are in Chicago. If you were, if I were you, I'd make do until things calm down. How long will that be? You turned in, you turned in one of your own. It's not all right, but thanks for trying, sir. Everyone says he was the last of his breed. It was true, not true. You are. I'm not carrying you. Carrying you. I'm not. All right. You're not. You don't get. You just don't get comfortable. Listen. I just want to know if you're going to really smell that mud. Because I've been following this guy. Listen to me. I can't believe it. I'll get my arms blown off for you. And you don't even give a nod. Okay. How about a winking? Wink. Winking is against the law. You know, when he gets off to work. Could you give him this? It's a hundred of you to let me. High winds in the north sky will carry you away. You sh- No, you have to leave here. You wish you could stay. There's four directions on this map. The only one good way, blue south. That's the way I'm going, due south. Set out my travelling shoes. I'm bound to walk away. It blues, due south.